It has been two months since the shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde took the lives of 19 children and two teachers. 17 others were injured and a 10 year old girl is still receiving care at University Hospital here in San Antonio. Yeah, the tragedy is being felt all throughout Uvalde and across the state. The pain inspiring an art project. Healing Uvalde, 21 portrait murals. Artists from across Texas tell the night teams Lee Waldman they hope that heals families and begins to, helps families begin to heal. She loved her shoes so much that she had to put, you know, her mark on it. And so we're kind of trying to help to make, to help her leave, you know, a bigger mark than she has. Ten-year-old Maite Rodriguez's green converse have become iconic. She drew a little hard on on her converse right after she got them. Her mom, Ana Rodriguez, sharing it's the only way her daughter was identified after she was killed inside of her classroom. A truth that rocked the nation and touched artist Ana Hernandez. My daughter is actually 10 years old and her name, she has the same middle name as her. Uh, like they're in the same grade. Hernandez and assistant Gabby Magali are just some of more than 50 artists from across Texas working here in Uvalde. Last night we came in a little late, around like nine, because we had to project and we didn't know the family was going to be here. So it was kind of cool to have the family like see kind of the reveal for the design. To embody the spirit of lives taken too soon. That's her actual handwriting. That's um, that's the way she wrote her name. That's the way she wrote you console me. And Each brushstroke keeping their memories alive. I decided to use the photograph of Eva because I noticed that her daughter, she had posted that that was her favorite picture of her mom. And she wanted, you know, to have it there forever. The Healing Uvalde 21 Portrait Murals Project has been in the works for weeks. Pretty soon after this whole tragedy happened. Each artist carefully selected by organizer Abel Ortiz and project manager Monica Maldonado. It was just very intentional and us wanting to make sure there was a connection between the child and the artist. Allowing the families and friends. We came early yesterday and there was one of the one of the teacher's best friends was having coffee in front of the mural. A place to feel close, to remember, and never let go. What a beautiful child, and we need to remember that about her. So a dedication ceremony is in the works for August. There will also be a map made so people can easily find where each of those murals is at. Back to you.